Timeline of the occupation of the Baltic states lists key events in the military occupation of the Baltic states of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania by the Soviet Union and by Nazi Germany during World War II. Topic 1939. March 20, 1939, German ultimatum to Lithuania was an oral ultimatum presented to Uzas Erbsis, Foreign Minister of Lithuania, by Joachim von Ribbentrop, Foreign Minister of Nazi Germany. The Germans demanded that Lithuania give up the Klaipeda region, or the Wehrmacht would invade Lithuania. After years of rising tension between Lithuania and Germany, increasing pro-Nazi propaganda in the region, and continued German expansion, the demand was expected. August 23, 1939 Molotov–Ribbentrop Pact signed. A secret protocol of the pact places Estonia, Latvia, and Finland in Soviet sphere of interest, Lithuania in Germany's sphere KF influence. Poland was split up between Soviet and Nazi interests. September 1, 1939, Nazi Germany invades Poland. This event signifies start of World War II in Europe. September 14, 1939, Polish submarine Orzel enters Tallinn Harbour, crew interned. September 17, 1939, Soviet Union invades Poland, still working together with Nazi Germany within the MRP framework. September 18, 1939, the Polish submarine Orzel escapes from Tallinn, sets course to England. September 22, 1939, Red Army captures region of Vilnius, which Poland annexed from Lithuania in 1922. September 24, 1939, Soviet Union demands establishment of Russian military bases in Estonia, using the Orzel incident as the pretext and threatening invasion in case of noncompliance. September 28, 1939, Molotov–Ribbentrop Pact amended pursuant to German–Soviet boundary and friendship treaty, most of Lithuania now falls into the Soviet sphere of influence. September 28, 1939 – Estonia submits to Soviet ultimatum, accepts military bases. October 2, 1939 – Soviet Union demands establishment of Russian military bases in Latvia, threatening invasion in case of noncompliance. October 5, 1939 – Latvia submits to Soviet ultimatum, accepts military bases. October 5, 1939 – Soviet Union begins negotiating with Finland for bases and territory exchanges. October 10, 1939 – Lithuania accepts Soviet bases. Soviet Union transfers part of Vilnius region, which Poland annexed from Lithuania in 1922, to Lithuania. October 18, 1939, First Red Army units enter Estonia. November 13, 1939, Finland rejects Soviet ultimatum. November 30, 1939, Soviet Union invades Finland. Winter War starts. December 1, 1939, Terioki Government, Soviet puppet government of Finland created in the Terioki County captured from Finland. December 14, 1939 – League of Nations expels Soviet Union for its illegal war against Finland. 1940 January 29, 1940 – Soviet Union «forgets» Terioki government. March 13, 1940 – Winter War ends with Moscow Peace Treaty. April 9, 1940 – Germany invades Denmark and Norway. June 10, 1940 – Germany occupies Norway. June 14, 1940 – Germany captures Paris. June 14, 1940 – Soviet Union begins air and naval blockade of Estonia. June 14, 1940 – Soviet Air Force shoots down Finnish civilian plane Kalava", flying from Tallinn to Helsinki. June 14, 1940 – Soviet Union gives ultimatum to Lithuania to form a new government and allow free access for Red Army. The president of Lithuania, Antanas Smetona, proposes armed resistance. Failing to secure support from government or armed forces, he decides to leave the country, so that he could not be used to legalize the occupation. June 15, 1940 – Soviet Union occupies Lithuania. President Smetona flees through Germany first to Switzerland then to USA, 1941, where he dies on January 9, 1944, in Cleveland. 
Prime Minister Antanas Merkiz yields to Soviet demands, attempts to catch Smetona. Vladimir de Kanazov lands in Kaunas to supervise annexation of Lithuania. June 15, 1940, at 3 o'clock Soviet troops storm and capture Latvian border posts Maslenki and Smiley. June 16, 1940 – Similar ultimatums were given to Estonia and Latvia. June 16, 1940 – Prime Minister of Lithuania Antanas Merkis removes Antanas Smetona from the post of president and, contrary to Lithuanian constitution, assumes presidency himself. June 17, 1940 – Estonia and Latvia submit to Soviet demands and are occupied. Prime Minister of Lithuania Antanas Merkis assigns Justice Pilekis as new Prime Minister, resigns and is arrested. June 18, 1940 – Sweden and Germany sign treaty allowing transit of German soldiers from Norway using Swedish territory. June 19, 1940 – A demonstration is staged in Vilnius in support of Soviet army. June 20, 1940 – New Latvian government of Moscow approved ministers is formed. June 21, 1940 – New Estonian government containing only left-wing activists is formed. Soviet Union arrange a number of Red Army-backed support demonstrations in several cities. June 22, 1940, France surrenders to Nazi Germany. July 8, 1940, Sweden and Germany sign treaty allowing transit of German war material between Norway and ports in southern Sweden. July 11, 1940, Baltic military district is created by Soviet Union at Riga, on the territories of theoretically still independent states. July 14, 1940 to July 15, 1940, mock elections in Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, where non communist candidates were disqualified, harassed, and beaten. Results of Latvian elections published in advance in London by accident. July 17, 1940, the acting president of Lithuania, Antanas Merkis, is imprisoned and deported to Saratov, Soviet Union. He dies March 5, 1955. July 21, 1940 to July 23, 1940 – New Soviet-backed Estonian Assembly transforms Estonia according to Soviet style, disregarding existing constitutional framework for government restructuring. July 21, 1940 – New Latvian Saima accepts wide nationalization and Sovietization decrees. July 22, 1940 – The President of Latvia, Karlis Ulmanis, is arrested and deported to Russia, never returning. He died in a prison in Krasnovods on September 20, 1942. July 23, 1940 – Heads of Baltic diplomatic missions in London and Washington, D.C. protest against Soviet occupation and annexation of their countries. July 23, 1940 – Sumner Wells declaration. United States applies the precedent of earlier Stimson Declaration to Baltic states, pursuing a policy of non-recognition of annexation of the Baltic states de jure. Most other Western countries maintain similar position until restoration of Baltic states' sovereignty in 1991. July 30, 1940 – The President of Estonia, Konstantin Patz, is imprisoned by NKVD and deported to Russia where he dies in the mental hospital of Kalinin on January 18, 1956. August 3, 1940 – Soviet Union annexes Lithuania. August 5, 1940 – Soviet Union annexes Latvia. August 6, 1940 – Soviet Union annexes Estonia. September 6, 1940 – Soviet Union acquires troop and material transfer rights from Finland between Hanko and Soviet border. September 22, 1940 – Germany acquires troop and material transfer rights from Finland between northern Norway and ports of Gulf of Bothnia. November 12, 1940 – Germany refuses Soviet Union demands for right to handle Finland as they will in negotiations in Berlin. December 16, 1940 – The Russian SFSR penal code is applied to retroactively in Estonia, applying to acts committed before 21 June 1940. Topic 1941. January 10, 1941, Soviet Union and Germany make an agreement for late resettlement of Baltic Germans from Latvia and Estonia. 
June 14, 1941 – First mass deportations from Estonia 10,000, Latvia 15,000 and Lithuania 18,000 to sparsely populated areas of Siberia. June 15, 1941 – The Governor of New York, Herbert Lehman, declares 15 June to be Baltic States Day. June 22, 1941 – Germany enacts Operation Barbarossa, invades Soviet Union. In Soviet historiography, start of World War II as the Great Patriotic War 24 25 June 1941 – Soviet authorities massacre political prisoners in Rainii, Lithuania. June 25, 1941 – Continuation war breaks out between Finland and Soviet Union. June 2, 1941 – General mobilization is announced in the Soviet Union. July 4, 1941 – Mass deportations from Estonian islands. July 7, 1941 – German forces reach southern Estonia. July 9, 1941 – Soviet authorities leave Tartu after executing 199 political prisoners, among them women and at least one child. July 10, 1941 – German forces reach Tartu. July 17, 1941 – State Commissariat Ostland formed in Riga, Heinrich Loos appointed State Commissar. July 21, 1941 – Stalin seeks Churchill's de jure recognition of the Soviet Union's new western border, Churchill does not respond. August 14, 1941 – Roosevelt and Churchill announce the Atlantic Charter. August 31, 1941 – Mainland Baltics now fully occupied by German forces. September 20, 1941 – Heinrich Himmler visits Estonia. November 25, 1941 – U.S. Deputy Secretary of State, Sumner Wells, reaffirms the U.S. policy in regard to non-recognition of Baltic annexation. December 19, 1941 – Alfred Rosenberg, the German State Minister for the Occupied Eastern Territories, enacts civil labor obligation for all residents of the occupied territories aged 18 to 45. December 1941 – Within six months of German occupation, 10,000 people, including 1,000 Estonian Jews, are either imprisoned or executed. Topic 1942. January 20, 1942 – Heydrich declares at the Onesie Conference that Estonia is Judenfrei. February 25, 1942 – German law comes into force in Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, but are only applied to ethnic Germans. March 16, 1942 – Goebbels writes in his diary that the Baltic people are naive to believe that the Germans will allow them to re-establish national governments. March 30, 1942 – Himmler proposes plan to Germanize the Eastern territories including establishing German settlements after the war. May 20, 1942 – Molotov visits London, Great Britain refuses to recognize the legality of the new western border of the Soviet Union. 1942. See also Timeline of the Winter War Timeline of the Molotov–Ribbentrop Pact